ating beef casserole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is G Core. Have a nice day to each and everyone. And today's video is I would like to share this video. And uh, of course, it's a cooking ideas and cooking recipe from my kitchen. So this time, guys, this is not a Pinoy food. So ito po, guys, I British or English foods, and I would like to share to you kung paano ko ito luto. And of course, uh, isa po sa mga paborito ni Habi and Favorito ko rin po siya guys. So ayan guys, uh, before I will start my video, my proper video, I would like to ask you again your support. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel and please click the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga new videos na aking i-upload and uh, please click like and share as well to your family and friends. So ayan guys, mag-start na po tayo ng ating uh, cooking uh, recipe and ideas from my kitchen. So, First is slice muna natin itong onions. So slice lang natin ito guys ng pahaba. And manipis na pag Isda na yung ating ano, uh, onion, slice na. And then, next is yung ating carrots. Guys, prepared na yung ating ingredients. Ito po yung uh, sliced onion, yung ating uh, sliced carrots, yung ating beef casserole mix, olive oil, uh, cold water. This is 425 ml. And yung ating uh, beef na 400 grams. So, yan guys, start na po tayo. So, while waiting our pan na uminit siya guys, uh, i-dissolve na natin itong ating uh, beef casserole mix dito sa 425 ml na cold water. Para ready na siya po na yan. Kasi uh, ilagay po natin siya sa oven. And then yung oven ko is na preheat ko na rin siya guys. Of course, uh, para to save our time. So, this is served as uh, ito yung pinaka-sauce niya or ito yung mag-boil mamaya ng ating beef. So, ayan, i-dissolve lang po natin dito. Nainit na yung ating pan. Let's start na. I-fry natin yung ating beef. Konting ano na. Mantika. About uh, 1 to 2 tablespoon. Fry natin yung ating beef. So, add natin yung ating onion. Sa ating mantika. Fry muna natin yung ating onion. So, yun guys. Luto na yung ating mantika. Onion, i-add natin yung ating deep guys. Ang 
pag ano natin ito, pag fry natin ito, is half cook lang siya guys. Kasi inagay pa po natin ito sa ating patay po muna. Ngayon na yung ating ano guys, yung ating hold. So, ang pagluto natin ito, ulitin ko guys, kasi maingay sa nito. Ang pagluto ko lang nito is half cook lang siya. Kasi ilagay ko pa ito sa oven or pwede rin siya lutuin dito sa pan pero much better kung sa oven kasi malasa siya guys. So hopefully may kung, kung nagkataon na nandyan ka sa Pilipinas at nakapanood ka nito. Hopefully may makita kayo nga no, casserole mix pero pwede naman kayo gumawa guys ng ano, homemade na casserole mix. Deep casserole mix ah. Uh, ano lang siya, yung mga ingredients wait lang yung mga ingredients ng casserole mix is tomato powder, corn flour onion powder, salt ayan may mga ano pa siya, yan lang naman ang main ingredients dito, and then mga herbs, mga dried herbs ang ilagay nyo kagaya ng parsley, thyme or, and then ground pepper yan, yan lang naman guys kung gusto nyo gumawa ng ano ng sarili nga beef casserole kasi I don't think so kung may makita kayo nito dyan sa Pinas or alimbawa kung saan kayo ngayon pero ayan guys kasi gusto ko siya i-share sa inyo ang isa sa mga English food na yun nga favorito ng aking hobby and of course naging favorite ko na rin siya So, there you go guys. Um, ano lang siya, nung juicy na yung ating beef meat. So, uh, ready na po natin i-transfer sa ating casserole. So, I'm going to use this. This one. And transfer in here. And, let's add this one guys, yung ating uh, carrots, sliced carrots. Parapin ng kunti kasi mga ano na yun. Madali lang siya guys, super easy lang siya lutuin kasi meron na siyang beef casserole mix. And then yung, ito yung ating ito yung ating na-dissolve na beef casserole mix mix muna natin before we combine here. So, ayan guys, ito yung serve na maglaga ng ating beef and carrots. So, ayan, and then let, mix lang po natin. Let's mix it. guys, ready na to put in the oven. So, and then let's put a cover, of course. Para mag-release pa dito yung ating beef. And let's put in the oven. Iset lang natin sa, tingnan ko kasi dito guys, kasi iba yung oven namin sa pan oven. So, uh, 1, 2, 1 and 45, 1, hour and 45 minutes ang pagkaluto nito and then 170 degrees Celsius pag fan ang iyong gamitin paggas naman is sa uh, number 4 so the same 1 hour and 45 minutes so, ayan guys medyo mahaba haba lang yung ating pagluto nito 170 so ayan siya guys sinet ko siya sa 170 degrees Celsius and yun nga, lutuin natin siya ng 1 hour and 45 minutes or it depends until maluto lang siya guys mag ano siya, mag tender yung ating meat so, ayan guys, update ko kay kayo later guys, uh, one and a half hour now ito check natin kung pwede na siya kasi sabi kanina is uh, one, and, uh, 1 and 45 minutes so I think uh, pwede na siya so check natin focus ko lang yung ating camera. I mainit guys so I need to be careful. So, natin. And try natin. So, I need a fork. So, I think 
guys, tender na siya. So, try po natin. Mm. Okay na siya, guys. Tender na yung ating meat. So, next is, maglagay ako nito sa ano? Maglagay ako nito sa oven. Mag-warm uh, ako ng isang nan bread lang. Good for my hobby. <laughs> Hindi ako makita kasi mababa. So, ayan guys, finish na yung ating, ano, finish na yung ating beef casserole. So, wait lang po natin ito. Kasi ito ang maganda i-combine dito. Magka-paris talaga. So, ayan guys, ready na yung ating beef casserole and then yung ating nan bread. So, serve ko na po to kay Habi. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this new cooking idea from my kitchen and I hope na makakuha kayo ng idea and thank you, thank you so much as well sa mga nag-tuning in sa aking new cooking vlog for today and please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Please click like and share as well to your family and friends and please leave a comment on the comment section below. So, ayan guys, see you on my next video. Bye! Have a nice day to each and everyone. Love you all. Bye.